you need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Alright, cool. So we've completed the quest, which, wow, that was some epic music for completing the quest. Oh, well, it was literally like, you did it! Alright, well now he's a blacksmith, so well, now we can customer. shop here. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? So, let's see, uh... Like you to forge something so for he me. can we can craft things with him now and this is going to teach us how to craft so on the left side of the screen is the list of diagrams so basically what you would need to craft the item you want to craft <clears throat> on the right side um, it shows you the boosts that you can get from it and in the middle it shows you the items that you need and um, craftsmen need to eat too to have them craft an item you must pay if you have the coin press X to craft the item you need to find a craftsman with the right specialty so armorers make armor blacksmiths make weapons that like alright so it's all pretty simple some items can be dismantled in order to obtain new components so uh... so let's see can we craft any crafting components yet no, we can't. Let's close that. And we can't craft any junk. Okay, so we would need one cured leather, one leather, uh, two leather scraps, and two pieces of wire. All right. Let's uh, let's see what he has. So he's got shirts. He's got a, a saddle for Roach and saddle bags. Armor repair kit, and as you can see, he could sell most crafting supplies that we would need. And, um, look at that. He has diagrams to make different types of gear. And as you can see, certain gear needs a certain level to wear. So, this is... Like, that needs level 8. That requires level 2. Skellige Gamson. Alright, so I think for right now we're going to we're gonna be good on that. So long. Alright, let's, uh, let's jump into the next quest. So the bestiary tells us about all the animals that we could fight. Books and letters show us certain quests and lore about the game and the like of that. So let's jump into the quest page. So uh, we have one Witcher contract, which is every quest has a suggested level for you to do it. So uh, this one's a level two. Ask the Nilf Guardians about Yennefer. That's our main quest. So uh, we'll keep that closed right now. Uh, our secondary quest, Missing in Action. You can set that. Uh, collect them all, which is the Gwent quest. But uh, I think we're going to do the Devil by the Well quest first. Alright. So, as you can see, our quest marker's out about here. Uh, don't touch me. Listen, lady. Get off my back. To call, yeah, call our horse again is double tap and L3. But... We don't need Roach just yet, so let's go into this house and talk to, uh... Talk to this guy for the contract. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why hmm. you put out a notice just now? Sounds like a job for the Ghostbusters. On, water from the river. But... So many corpses floating in it after the battle has turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadfully ill. Can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it don't I'm serious, man. Near. Ghostbusters. All right, let's uh, let's ask him about the ghost. This ghost, describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening, awful. 
How I frightening? Mean, what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master. If you don't <laughs> take care of it, wallop least, it. It'll come kill Punch me. it in the face with your fists. Let's talk about my reward. I feel for you, but this is my job, so let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin. Alright, so you can haggle, and uh, this is important, because this is how you make more money very easily. So to haggle for a higher reward, you use the left stick to confirm. If your counterparty accepts your offer, you've made a deal. If your offer is too high, your counterparty will grow annoyed. Push too hard, he or she will break off negotiations. So there's their annoyance level down there. So uh the base rate is twenty. What if uh what if we made it uh let's make it twenty three. Settles it then. Alright, cool. Fine. Made three wow. extra crowns. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. Havel. It's abandoned now. No one I would read that as hovel, the but then again. I'm a Drive it off. dumb American. Please. Well, I'm smart compared to that dude, because that dude's definitely, like, poor. But, uh... So, yeah, we have stuff we can we can loot this real quick. And he's got emerald and, and coal. But his daughter's sick. Well, you know what? Roach, come to me. Don't get stuck on the house, bud, please. Please don't get stuck on the house. Oh, my God. Roach got... There you are. Not so fast, Roach. All right, Roach. To the quest marker, please. Now, I'm not even touching the stick, and Roach is just going on his own. So those little green things that are popping up on the map, those are for uh, alchemy and stuff like that. So if you, if you want to play that route, which we haven't gotten into yet, but we will once we level up a few times. The Witcher, from what I understand, is really, really good about letting you decide how you want to play. Whether you want to be a straight-up brawler or full-on alchemist. New marker, abandoned village. Alright. Shit. There she is. Well, first things first. Come to signposts here. Uh, this allows you to fast travel. Um, you can place your own markers on your map like any other big game. And to place a special marker, hits hold square. Um, you can, you know, set a marker for enemy, quest, or uh, anything special. But, uh, yeah, this is how I would you would fast travel. Because you would go here and then you'd click this sign. And hit X and boom, you're done. But, uh... We're gonna... The infamous well. The moon wraith. I wonder what it's doing here. Strange. Read, she's not attacking. Read the entry about the noon wraith in your bestiary. Well, that's for ghouls, specters, devil by the well, and uh, noon wraiths. Despite what is commonly thought, peasants do not interrupt their labors at midday to get out of the sun. They do so to avoid noon wraiths. On searing summer days, when the sun reaches the zenith. Wraiths will at times appear, resembling sun-scorched women, driven mad with pain or ag anger. They will kill anyone who does not get out of their way in time. Held in this world by some object. Okay, so they're basically held here by an object. Something's tied the noon wraith to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. Alright, well. Let's, uh... She's not bothering me, so I'm not going to fight her just yet. But, uh... We'll literally loot anything we can. So we've got to check these three houses. Usually when something's red, it's, uh, it's a quest item. As our tutorial with Yennefer taught us. You know, jump, Geralt. Come on, son of you know, geez. So like that's that's our quest item, but there's this big old treasure chest. 
got a black magic doll on it, and a book, which is also a quest item. Journal. Yellow diary. Be useful. Um, it's happened. Again, I'll pause this for you guys. Then I'll scroll down to the next entry. So somebody wants to yeah, make a deal. Might be what ties the woman's spirit to this place. On the uh, on the land. A man, stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there, but it's not his blood. Blood stains, hmm. barely visible. Someone so, was dragged this way. This is kind of like a uh, who was still alive. Batman's detective mode from Arkham. If you played those games, you're familiar with that. Ezio's Eagle Sense. Palm prints in blood. Small hands. A woman's. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. No body in sight, but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, blood stains can remain visible for decades. See? I would never know something like that. Whether it's Another true or print not. By the well. Well, listen, I don't want to fight this Noon Wraith until I have to, but I feel like as soon as we go to get to the well, she's just going to, like, flip out and attack, so we're going to, you know, take our time, look through things. There's nothing in here. I mean, we can always check outside and around the house. She's uh she's just chilling, so just wanna run in here real quick. Loot all this shiz knit. It's mainly junk. Again, if it's uh if it's marked in red. Hmm. A what if? multiple items I want to use Igni did nothing so let's uh there we go let's uh let's loot some more stuff smoking pipe Alright. Well, that seems to be about it. Whoa, you got to straight too far from the well. Shit, Geralt, move! I knew she was gonna get. So that's how you gotta you gotta get her in a in a yard in trap. She fled. But she'll be back tomorrow. Something's keeping her here. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. So let's go take a look at Blood this. Bloodstains, almost faded, but the lines taut. Something's not right. Well, a corpse hanged by the bucket rope. Woman, the journal belonged to, must be. Oh, look at that! That effect right there with the leaves blowing. Oh, that looked beautiful. Wide pelvis, small jaw. A woman, around thirty, judging by the teeth. Left arm's missing. Time to find that left arm, Geralt. Need to cremate the remains. Next time on Go. Find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. You're really gonna make me go down here. Well, here goes nothing. 